Hi, thanks for joining me in another video today. With me is a 2018 Model X 100D. Obviously, this is not the refreshed model, but if you're unfamiliar with the Model X, continue watching. There's a lot of interesting features. When new, a 2018 Model X 100D costs around $97,000, but you can find a used one going for around $61,000. As of May 2021, if you were to order a newer and refreshed version of the Model X, you could choose between the dual motor all-wheel drive long grade starting at $89,990 or the tri-motor all-wheel drive plaid starting at $119,990. Though the current estimated delivery date is January to February of 2022. Okay, let's go back to our 2018 Model X. This car has an EPA range of 295 miles and an 87 mile per gallon equivalent or 387 watt hours per mile. It has a battery capacity of 100 kilowatt hours and contains two induction AC motors. The dual electric motors output 259 horsepower or 193 kilowatts each and does zero to 60 in 4.7 seconds. The Model X 100D charges at a max of 145 kilowatts. It has a 72 amp onboard charger, which will charge you at 17 kilowatts or 40 miles per hour on AC power. The charging port is on the rear driver's side of the vehicle. On a road trip, you can charge it off the large network of Tesla superchargers available across the country. The most notable thing about a Model X is its Falcon wing doors. But first something neat is that the doors open automatically when you approach the vehicle. Tapping on the brake pedal will close the driver door. It's like having a chauffeur open and close the door for you. The door handles on the Model X are unique to this car. They don't pop out at all since all the doors are motorized. Just give it a push and the doors open. The Falcon Wing doors open up and out rather than just opening up outward. This allows them to only require one foot of clearance on each side so you can use them even in the tight parking space. They have sensors for proximity to alert the driver whether or not the doors have enough space to open when you are stationary. These are also used for safety so that they don't hit you while the door is trying to open while you are standing. The interior could be set up to fit five, six, or seven passengers. This one has a six seat configuration, which is my personal favorite. This configuration has two full size seats in the back, which are really comfy. The trunk opens with the powered lift gate. In a five seat configuration, the cargo space is a total of 88.1 cubic feet. Having the extra two seats in the back does limit your storage space, but you can lay them down flat if you need more room. All the seats are motorized. You can use this button to do fine adjustments for your height or angle you want your seat to be in. And you could also adjust it from the front screen. In the front, you have your trunk, which provides a little extra storage space. On the early versions of the Model X, the spoiler would change angles depending on the speed you were going. Later, this was changed so that the spoiler is now fixed in place. Hopefully they add the moving spoiler back in. This car has eight cameras and 12 ultrasonic sensors. Three of the cameras are on the windshield, two on the B pillars, two by the front wheel wells, and then one on the back. The ultrasonic sensors can be found all along the front and back bumper of the car. Tesla vehicles have an additional safety measure called Sentry Mode, which enables recordings of any events that occur near your car or if it gets hit. Speaking of cameras, Tesla recently announced that future Tesla cars will now be using Tesla Vision and will no longer be using radar. Inside you have a 17-inch vertical touchscreen in the center and you have a digital driver display in the front. The windshield is huge. It has no pillars obstructing the view. In fact, it goes all the way above your head. It's pretty neat. You control almost everything from the center screen, including things like your charging limit, 
You can uh, schedule your charging time. There is also different driving options you can adjust. Acceleration, steering mode, and regenerative braking. You also control the radio. You have karaoke, Spotify, SiriXM, and tune in. And you can adjust the climate settings. And you also have dog mode and camp mode. All the seats are also heated. There are also extra features to play with. So this includes your toy box. So we have emissions here, a really fun farting one, romance mode, sketch pads, some Christmas and Mars features, a rainbow road. And then under here, uh, under entertainment, you can play a few different games, including solitaire and fallout shelter, cuphead and some chess and some really old classic games as well. It also has bioweapon defense mode, which runs the outside air through a gigantic air filter. And the refreshed models coming out in 2022, the screen layout will be changing and an additional screen will be added in the back. I talk more about this in my Tesla January 2021 updates video. One thing to note is that the AC vents will be moving from traditional vents to motorized vents like in the Model 3 and Model Y and they can be adjusted in your center screen. I feel so small driving in this car compared to my Model 3. I feel like it's so massive compared to my car. Um, but the car drives really well because it does have a low center of gravity the way the battery is positioned right underneath. Actually, the Model X is the first SUV to get a five-star safety rating because it's really difficult for it to roll over. The car has good visibility, obviously, except for the back window. When I'm looking through the rear view mirror, I feel like it's kind of narrow, um, especially with the extra seats in the back. It's a little bit um, difficult to see through there. I'm going to turn on autopilot. And what autopilot does, it keeps you centered in between the lanes and it keeps a distance between you and the car in front of you, which is great for driving on the highway and being in traffic and going on road trips. If you want to add extra features, you would have to buy the full self-driving package, which is an extra $10,000, um, but it would give you things like summon and navigate on autopilot. This car doesn't have ludicrous mode, but it's still very quick, so it's still a very fun drive. Especially for an SUV, it's so fast. This 2018 Model X isn't the most efficient, but it is all right based on its size and its class. However, a new Model X will be more efficient because it's going to have the permanent magnet motors and it's going to have a heat pump. There are so many little things that were put into this car, it makes it really fun to show off. This car also has front and rear fog lights. The rear fog lights aren't as common on American cars. The cold weather package gives this car a heated steering wheel as well as heated windshield wipers. Since the windshield is so big, they needed to add in a sun visor, but there isn't a bar across for them to mount it to. They ended up making the sneak magnetic locking system to keep the visor in place. There are a lot of Easter eggs in the Model X as well. However, here are two I find pretty neat. The Model X is the only model that will perform a light show with music from the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, a fun feature for the holidays. This car has air suspension so you could do other neat stuff. Like the James Bond Easter egg can be used to replace your Tesla Model X icon with the submarine. Tesla no longer has federal tax credits available. If you're looking to buy a Tesla, be sure to use my referral code in the description below. Thanks for spending time with me today. Make sure to subscribe for more EV content and follow me on social media at Kai's EV and Kai's Tesla. Kai is my dog. And check out my website for more EV resources at kaisev.com. That's all for now and happy charging.